More drama for Bobby Christina Brown, even though she's passed away. Tony Scott here. We'll look at Tony's T. Some entertainment headlines to grab my attention today. But Delia Hargrove was the estate administrator appointed by a court to oversee Bobby Christina's estate. Well, she has quit. Yes, she resigned because she said she was tired of fighting with Pat Houston and Sissy Houston. One of the things they were fighting about was an $86,000 bill that she felt needed to be paid. But they said, you're not even letting us look at any bill. So no, we're not going to sign off on that. Well, the judge has accepted her resignation, put someone else in that position and says no money is to be spent other than paying taxes and paying bills. I ain't signing off on anything. Pat and Sissy and the family were also fighting Bedelia Hargrove over the Nick Gordon lawsuit. She wanted to proceed. They wanted to drop it because they felt like there's nothing they'd get out of Nick. He's got nothing. The drama, I'm sure, is not over. Master P is going to do a biopic on his life. That's what he wants to do. He wants Queen Latifah in the movie. She's agreed, but no role has been announced yet for her. He says he wants to put his life story out there. The timing is right. People need to learn from his mistakes. And they need to understand his work ethic of never giving up. No matter what it takes, you never give up. There's an open casting call for additional parts in the movie in Louisiana. You can read about that at krnb.com. Kevin Ross was in town last night for a private listening party for his brand new album. And he says Maxwell gave him some great advice. Kevin says Maxwell told him to never do a song that you won't do in 20 years. In this business, everybody wants you to do trends because you're young. If there are hundreds of artists doing the same thing, then why can't you be the left of center? Was the advice? Kevin Ross took it to heart, and now his ship has begun to sail. At KRB.com, Trey Songs announces concert tour. See when it hits Dallas, and you gotta look at the mansion that Ice Cube bought for his wife Kim. It is off the hook. Thanks for checking out Tony's T for Smooth RB 105.7. I'm Tony Scott.